White House deals with international tensions. The Russia probe continues to dog the administration and the president's outside legal counsel is being forced to clarify his statements about whether the president himself is under investigation. Blaine Alexander is following it for us from Washington tonight. Blaine. And good evening to you from Washington. Today, President Trump ignored shouted questions about the Russia investigation, instead trying to focus on foreign policy as he welcomed the president of Panama to the White House. A commander in chief facing a potentially dangerous military escalation after U.S. backed forces shoot down a Syrian fighter jet. This is certainly a little more dangerous period. Syria's closest ally, Russia, now vows to treat all U.S. planes in that part of Syrian airspace as targets. I doubt very much the Rus Russians will really look to shoot at a manned American aircraft. You never quite know. Syria has been testing the U.S. in a series of provocative moves, escalating an already tense relationship between the U.S. and Russia, despite the shared goal of defeating ISIS. If you talk to foreign policy uh, experts from across the spectrum, they say Russia is not our friend. Russia is doing very bad things vis-a-vis -vis our friends in NATO, vis-a-vis -vis interference in our democratic process. Back in Washington, the Russia investigation remains in the spotlight as the president's legal team denies reports that he is personally under investigation. Any administration has to be able to walk and chew gum at the same time. What we have seen of this president is his obsession with the Russia investigation. And I think it raises profound concerns as to whether the president has the bandwidth and the capacity to focus where he needs to be focused. And today, rare public remarks from presidential son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner. This is technology week here at the White House. Despite Kushner being a central figure in the Russia investigation, his duties within the White House appear to be expanding. And President Trump's personal attorney says the president may address questions about whether he taped conversations with former FBI Director James Comey by the end of the week. In Washington, Blaine Alexander, Local 4.